Richard Branson just days away from making history while Jeff Bezos, he's also getting ready for his own launch. Gio Benitez, he's back with how they're both preparing. Little competition never hurt. Hey, Gio. Yeah, it never hurt, and it's probably going to help for space tourism. Cecilia, good morning to you. Listen, on Sunday, Richard Branson is going to launch into weightlessness for the ultimate test flight, and it could potentially pave the way for space tourism like we've never seen before. This morning, just two days away from that historic launch to the edge of the atmosphere, Richard Branson set to beat Amazon founder Jeff Bezos by just nine days in what's been dubbed the billionaire space race. Branson speaking with GMA right after breaking that news. I know that it's been painted as a race. Honestly, I don't think either of us see it that way. We're not really in direct competition. The two launches will look very different. The Bezos Blue Origin launch looks more traditional, a rocket launching upright with a space capsule above it. But the Branson launch Sunday will start just like a typical planes liftoff. The mothership, the VMS Eve, named after Branson's mom, will carry the Unity spaceship underneath it. Once they reach 45,000 feet, Eve drops the spaceship. Within seconds, the rocket ignites, shooting them to the edge of space. Fire. Fire. While neither Branson nor Bezos will reach the Earth's orbit, Bezos will go a little farther, 62 miles above the surface versus Branson's 55 miles. I'm just expecting the most extraordinary uh, trip of my lifetime. Five other Virgin employees will join Branson for the company's first fully crewed flight. The world, and even those off it, will be watching. ABC News speaking with astronauts aboard the International Space Station just days ago. Well, everybody says it's not a race. I think, I think it's good. I think you need some momentum. You need, uh, and uh, you know, being competitive is kind of part of the, part of the process. And it comes with a risk. In 2014, Virgin Galactic lost one of its pilots during one of the company's test flights. The spacecraft broke apart and crashed in the Mojave Desert. Some uh, painful moments in the last 17 years. Some wonderful moments, uh, but it's been 17 years of hard work. So many people working on this, and we will be right there on Sunday in New Mexico to watch this launch. Now, we should tell you celebrities like Ashton Kutcher, Katy Perry, they've already bought their seats on future flights, and the cost of each ticket, guys, $250,000. GMA won't let you expense one, Gio? <laughs> <laughs> I got that corporate card ready to swipe. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> I need to talk to them about my limit. I can do that. All right, Gio, thank you so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.